All right, what's up guys? We're here at the 2023 Precision Rifle Expo in Navasota, Texas. And uh, I'm here with fellow, obviously with Apex Optics, but here with fellow shooters, uh, Jeff and Chris. And look what we got our hands on here. That's right guys, we got the new Garmin Zero C1. So, what we wanna do, um, obviously out here at the expo we have all kinds of rifles going on all kinds of sounds going on around us this thing has not picked up anybody else's shots except ours so let me turn this around we are using the uh, Bugara 22 built by Crossroads Precision in Victoria Texas give them a call if you're looking for something obviously we got the beautiful Apex rival scope on there 4 to 32 power um, and we got Mr. Chris right here. Say hello, Chris. Hey, how are you guys doing? All right, we got him shooting. So what we're gonna show you here, guys, is he's gonna send five shots down range, and we're gonna watch it pick up shots. Right ahead, Mr. Chris, when you're ready. All right. Ten seventy-two. Ten sixty-five. No. 10.68. 10.68. And it, again, guys, it'll tell you what, what shot you're on. That's shot number five. That should be it. And 10.69. All right. So that's how it works. Super simple. You see we got the little plate here just kind of attaching to the Arca. It doesn't move. Uh, now we can go to shot list. And it give you, you know, shots one through five. Go to the summary. Give your minimum, your average, your max, extreme spread, and SD. All right, right side of plate, right. You got, I mean, just tons of info that it gives you. Um, yeah. I'm gonna go through everything, but you kind of get the idea one one thing guys I will say is definitely get the uh, little attachment here everybody area 419 di precision makes them um, you know this thing is a game changer yesterday when they came in and the first day of the expo people were just fighting over them uh, luckily we got ours and we were able to use it used it all day yesterday I think uh, after a full, when I took it out of the box yesterday, we had maybe 30% power, I think whatever it comes with from the factory. And uh, we had it on for maybe seven hours-ish. And I think I had about 11% when we stopped. It had charged fully in about three hours. You know, two to three hours, that's, that's what it was. Um, so far we've had it on today. Uh, it is now, 12 noon. I've had it on since about 8, 8.30 this morning. And let me turn it around. You can see it, but you can see the battery level at the top. I am about halfway, maybe a little past halfway. I would definitely say if you're going to use it. Now, again, we don't use uh, a chronograph, you know, like all day like we're using now. You go into the range, you take your shots, you get your data, shut it down, move on. But it is a fantastic little feature to have. Um, I highly, highly recommend getting one. There you go, guys. Any questions, hit me up in the comments. Thank you, Chris, for helping us out. You bet, buddy. All right, buddy.